Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're in Abby's room because I wanted to share her makeover with you and also share my top five favorite organizing tips for kids' bedrooms. The only thing Abby asked for for Christmas was to have her room repainted. I loved her mermaid room, but apparently 11 year olds are over mermaids. She felt like she was a little too old. She wanted a more tween room and it's the only thing she asked for. So she literally got a can of paint and some pillows for Christmas and she helped me paint the room. She did the desk herself. She did a lot of the walls herself. So hopefully she loves it enough or hates painting enough to never want to have her room redone again. So we did the whole room in just a day, reusing a lot of the things we already had, but I wanted to share the organization with you because this is one of the number one questions that I get. How do you organize a kid's space so it stays clean and tidy all the time? So I'm gonna share my top five tips with you right now. The first tip I've said literally a thousand times, I know, but I'm saying it because honestly, it's the greatest tip for kids' bedrooms ever, and that is ditching the dresser Kids just shove clothes into dressers anyways. They don't hold a lot of clothing. They take up floor space. Instead, opt for a calyx shelf from Ikea. The bins hold so many clothes. It's easy for kids to find what they need to put it away, but the best part is because it takes advantage of that vertical space, you have spots for their stuffed animals or their toys, their Lego, their books. You can hold so many things and it doubles as a dresser which is a win-win, less clutter and less floor space taken up, you need one of these shelves in your kid's room. If you do have a kid's dresser or a desk, it's so important that you use drawer dividers. Kids are macro organizers, so they're like dumping and tossing and things can get out of control fast. But with some dollar store drawer dividers or little bins inside your closet or inside drawers, they're gonna keep it so much tidier because their brain sees the little dividers and they toss them into their actual home. Definitely have to give this a try. If your kid's room is short on space, you gotta try this under the bed rollout. It's definitely maximizing the space. It's the perfect spot for Lego or train sets or Barbies or whatever your kids have an abundance of. They can roll out this under the bed storage, play, make a mess, and then roll it back under when they're done. If you don't need extra toy space, you can use under bed storage for off season clothing or whatever extra stuff that your kids have. Next, it's so important to declutter your kid's closet. Every single year, your kids will outgrow clothing and they will outgrow toys, and yet they're always shoved in the closet not being used. So every single year, you have to do a big purge of your kid's closet. This means taking everything out, deciding what they wanna keep, deciding what they don't use, and packing it up to go. I know what you're probably thinking. Your kids are reluctant to get rid of things. All kids, they hate purging. So a really quick tip is for you to go through without them. Decide what they're not wearing and you know what they're not using, but let them have veto rights. So they can come in, look at the box in the bag, and pick a few things to keep. It's always much easier to decide what you wanna keep than it is to decide what to let go of. Last but not least, I really want to encourage you to use what you have. I know, I said you should buy a shelf and underbed storage and drawer dividers for your kid's desk, but the truth is you can organize and declutter using what you already have. No need to go out and buy pretty matching bins or all matching hangers. Use what you have, maybe rearrange furniture for better flow, definitely declutter and get a little creative. You don't have to spend time or money to have a beautifully organized and tidy kid's bedroom. When we made over Abby's room, the only thing we actually bought was new pillows and a can of paint. Everything else was reused. I love reusing dollar store picture frames, just printing pictures off the internet. It changes the whole feel of the space without spending any money. And one can of Annie Sloan chalk paint recovered things like the desk and the little music notes and Abby's name on the wall. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to really change the look of your space. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I thought I'd give you a quick weight loss update. 
because I don't know what else to talk about because I've only done Christmas parties from the 22nd until like the 4th. We had a Christmas party every freaking day. So I haven't gone anywhere or done anything fun. So I'm gonna give you a weight loss update. I started my weight loss journey at 240 pounds. As of today, I am 180 pounds. So that's 60 pounds lost. 60 pounds is like a Milo from my body. Unfortunately, it's lost from places that I can't really tell, like my calves. I actually went down a half a shoe size. Is that even possible? Apparently it is. My girls, obviously, are gone. A little bit of the neck and that's about it. I'm wearing the exact same clothes that I was before. So either I crammed myself into clothes that are way too small or 60 pounds is not enough to actually make a size in my clothing size yet, but I'm feeling really good. I was feeling crappy, but now I'm feeling great. Um, I'm eating basically anything, so that's exciting. Probably eating too much chocolate. It's Christmas, don't judge. It melts in your mouth, not in your hands, so I'm not having a problem with that. A whole entire box of pot of gold chocolates. That's how I got into this problem in the first place. My point is, it feels like I didn't even have the surgery at all. I'm just eating smaller portions, and so far I'm feeling really good about it. So I'll keep you posted on the weight loss, my goal weight is 140, so 40 more pounds to go. Hopefully I'm there by the summer, and yeah, that's it. I got nothing else to say. I'll see you next time.